All right, there they are, they got him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just got a phone call from the gatekeeper security. Uh, you know, everybody knows that Boys Burgers are just broken into over here uh, last night. Well, these guys just called me and said that they got this guy that they just broke into the platonics place over here. So we're live with the gatekeepers right now. So they got the guy detained right here. So this is the guy that's breaking into places. What's up, man? Why are you breaking into our businesses for? Somebody paid you to do it. Who? Huh? Dennis L. Greenwood? Denzel Greenwood. Who's he? Oh, why did he want you to break in here for? For the money. They break into Boys Burgers too? He did before. Did you have anything to do with it? Last night? Last night, I think maybe another time too. What other business have you broke into? I have broken into. That's yeah. my first one. This is your first one. Where are you from? I'm from LA. LA. You from uh, parole? No. I'm from Superman. Okay. Not being good supervised, are you? No. No. You on the phone? Let me know when you're off. Did he gain access? <laughs> yes, he gained inside access. Of course. Am I in the So when did they ask you to break in here? Today they asked you, so how was the game plan planned out? He gave me a time to come. Huh? He gave me a time, he said the best time to come. Best time to come is to break in about this time, huh? What did you use to break in? A rock. A rock. Wow, getting smart. Did they tell you what they wanted you to steal? The money. The money. Hmm. Hmm. Money was stolen out of Boys Burgers last night too, right? You sure you ain't had nothing to do with it? Yes, it's kind of weird. These two businesses are close together, you know? No, he was breaking into boys. Huh? He was breaking into boys again. Oh, you guys caught him breaking into boys? Yeah. When? Right now. Right. Oh, so you were breaking into boys' burgers? Right now, yes. Wow, okay. They told me from back up, actually breaking in. He turned up and was breaking through the window inside. Okay, so you broke into Boys Burgers and you broke in over here. So how many other, oh, yeah. huh? Oh, yeah. oh, you didn't. He oh, he took off and you just you guys called him over here. Okay. So what window did you break tonight? No, what window did you break tonight? The back one. You know that guy. You know the owner is watching this live stream right now. You know you cost that guy over five hundred dollars last night. You give a rat's ass about that. It's kind of funny, boys' burgers get broken into last night, and then you're back here again tonight, and you're breaking into it. So, I'm just trying to put pieces together. Well, you're stupid enough to be breaking in business. Uh, it's stupid doing what you did right now. What we got over here, a meth pipe? Tools. The officer said that meth pipe fell out of his pocket when he tried to uh, So the meth pipe fell out of his pocket when he was over here. Let yeah, let PD search the bag. All right, so Al, looks like we got a guy. He did try to break into your store a while ago, and these, thanks to the gatekeepers, they caught the guy. Said that uh, some guy told him to do it. What was the guy's name again? Denzel Greenwood. Denzel Greenwood. Where's Denzel live at? I'm in, in the alley by CVS. In the alley by CVS, okay, you guys got that. Huh? How good of a friend is this to you? I'm in my ex-girlfriend. It's your ex, you met him through your ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Friends like that, man, you don't need, brother. 
So one of you officers want to go with me over to Boyd's and we'll check that out? Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Okay. PD's on their way? Yeah, I'm waiting for PD. He's got my cuffs on him. So okay. And, uh... All right. Well, actually, I'll wait till PD gets here and then we'll do that. Because I don't want to miss that. I want to go over to see the grandma goes. Yeah. Uh, so I was clear by uh, Lion Court to bring up the call. Okay. All right. So the guy was breaking back into Boys. Well, he says he wasn't here last night, but somebody broke into Boys Burgers last night. And uh, are you? Who's the officer that called him tonight? Seventeen, you caught him, right? Seventeen caught him. Okay, this gentleman right here with the gatekeepers caught him breaking into Boys uh, tonight, and they chased him over here where he was detained, and he had paraphernalia fall out, and also some breaking tool or some burglary tools right here. We don't know what's in the bag. We're gonna let PD search that bag. Yeah, can you tell me Come over here and talk to me and tell me actually what did you see, how it went down whole nine yards. Well, I uh, was going my rounds at Boys Burgers and then uh, I saw them creeping around the corner looking at me. So I know that we're getting break-ins there. So I waited in the, I acted like I left. I right. The corner. I waited in the, was it the library parking lot and just watched them do the whole thing there. So you watched him actually yeah, break the one, good job. We saw him go to the front first and looked around, went to the back and all that. And, and then I was calling for backup and me and 20 went in there and got him and then started to run. So he ran from which direction? From there over to this way? Yeah, he ran from just that street. Uh, he ran from behind Boysburger down to the harbor. The harbor. And this is where you... Coming this way. Good job. So y'all tamed the team right here. Awesome. Thank you. Was it the bathroom window? No. Which window was it? The front? The side door. Like towards the um, end of the library. And that gas station. They don't even keep money in there. They take all the big stuff out. No, that dude came with 700 one day. One day? Where was that at? Boys Burgers. Boys Burgers? How long ago was that? And when was that? I don't yeah, know. Five days ago? Five days ago? What's your name? Chris. Chris. What's your last name, Chris? Myers. Chris Myers. Okay. How old are you? 24. Okay. Who's supervisor tonight? You are? Okay. Did you contact 60? Okay. Hey, right, come over here a second and talk to you. All right, remember he just told us just now and it's on the live stream. He was saying that uh, last time there was like $700 taken out. I said, from where? He said, boys. Mm -hmm. Remember the last break-in that we, not this one, yeah, but. I remember, that was there. I bet you he was affiliated with that one soon. We'll so Al, this guy may be tied into it. Look at the crowbar.
Yeah, same. Okay, PD's on scene now. It's gone, brother. Uh, he was breaking into Boy's Burgers. Uh, security actually witnessed him break the window this time. So, uh, and he knew about uh, money that was missing from prior burglaries. So it looks like he's been tied into the same burglaries. And uh, he says he didn't have anything to do with last night's burglary, but uh, I don't believe it. Uh, those that are just logging in, uh, this guy was caught red-handed breaking into Boys Burgers over their own Carmelita and Latham. They were broken into night before last, or shall I say, well, yeah, yesterday morning sometime. And the gatekeepers actually caught him in the action. Uh, they called for backup, uh, 14, 17, and uh, what's this, 20 responded. And uh, they got the, the guy in custody over here. He ran from the scene, and they actually caught him over here in front of Hybertronics uh, Organic Gardens. So, Al, I know you and your wife are watching this from Boys Burgers, so it looks like uh, Hammett Gatekeepers actually caught your subject. Yeah, I know, Lori, he does. He said his girl, ex-girlfriend's brother or somebody, a friend, hired him to go do it. Told him when the best time would be. How's it going, Josh? I can't complain.
I got the owner of Boys Burgers watching our live stream right now, too. So. <laughs> All right, he's going off, folks. Hey Addison, yeah. you get a chance to watch my live stream, there will be information that he gives that you might want to know about. Yeah, people, we definitely ask you guys, if y'all will, come down and support Boys Burgers. I mean, just this damage that they had night before last cost them over $500. And now we don't know what damage we have tonight, so we will be going by there and showing y'all the damage that he just caused tonight. I'm gonna go down to Boys since PD got him. I'll meet you down there. Okay, meet me down there and I'll check the damages he's got. Okay. All right. Okay. We're going there right now. All right, we're gonna go by uh, Al's place right now. We're here at Boys Burgers and we're gonna go ahead and check out the damage that he caused right now. So, Al, we're on our way to your restaurant right now. So, PD's got him detained. And we'll go ahead and go over to your restaurant. Uh, Al, is that you showing up out here? Let me see. No, that's another PD unit. Oh, curious. Hang on. I'm curious what this guy's got in this bag. Butane. Used to be the king, he ain't no more. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go meet him, honey. Yeah. All right. He does, Mario, have a record. I wouldn't doubt it. That's what I told him. He says, I asked him, I said, Why, did you, did you break in boys last night too? And he's like, No, man, I'm not that stupid to do it twice in a row. I'm like, Well, you must be stupid doing it the first time in a row. You know, it's bad enough this COVID is already killing our small businesses and these assholes has got to come out here and break into these businesses, you know. Like I say, it, it costed Al over $500 in repairs. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, well, I'm getting to that. Over $500 in repairs. Had to change the locks to his restaurant because the guy took the keys to his restaurant that was inside his office. And then he turned around and stole over $150 in cash. So there he got some more money that cost it out. So that's a lot of burgers right there, folks. Oh, shit. Fucking asshole. Al, he busted your whole side door in, dude. Uh, yeah, he broke your whole fucking door. And he was inside, too. All right. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if he got anything yet. Al, if you want to come down here and check and see if he got anything. He's on, a throne. He's on his way. Oh, he's a, okay. Yeah, I him. All right, yeah. He's going to wait for him to get here and he'll go over surveillance if he got it. We know. Ain't got none. I'm installing that tomorrow. Damn. He just had to replace the window last night. Julia says she'll come by and pick up a family pack. <laughs> so you say he was inside when y'all got him? And I was just telling Al we was going to spend a night in the damn restaurant tonight and catch him. But I didn't think they'd come back this quick. Yeah, I catch them. It's funny because when I, when I talked to Al earlier and stuff, he's like, oh, I don't think he's going to hit us again. But that's what we're talking about. Yeah, that's what I told him. We were gonna, we we're gonna hit, we we're gonna hit the hell out of this place. Where were you sitting at, brother? Back there. Yeah, right back in there. So I'm sitting and break it and then go in. Exactly. How long is he inside? Uh, what? Forty seconds? Yeah. Oh, so he didn't have time to do nothing. You probably heard me say detain him, detain him, and he probably took him. No, he uh. Yeah. Did you do a walk through? You said we're anywhere else you could? Not yet, they're gonna wait till I'll get to you. Was you on last night, Edison? Was you on last night? We were out hoping to catch y'all some action, but sh it was dead. Yeah, I went out probably about eleven o'clock. And it was dead. Yeah, I didn't know much <laughs> later on in the night. I think the only thing I caught was uh, the guy that you guys got in the roadway on state. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. We called him, man, because we heard that over the radio he was out there and y'all came and then y'all left. And as soon as you guys left, he went right back out. Oh, uh, yeah. And then uh, I think y'all had yeah. a motorcycle oh, stop. And that was it. I'm like, Pfft. Yeah, okay. Oh, I ended? Oh, yeah, I no, I'm still alive. Okay, if anybody... If anybody is watching this live stream uh, that does boarding, if anybody's got some boards that can help board this up tonight. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I'm going to call somebody right now. Awesome, you're the man.
want to find out if he can say anything that's missing, like give us an Oh, yeah. Yeah, he will. He was watching our live stream the whole time. So. Well, Buck called Joe out here earlier tonight. Some guy came out here all mad because he couldn't help him with any money or anything because he told him, look, you know, I just got robbed, you know. Then a guy gets mad and pulls a gun on him. Yeah, I'm here, Mario. Sorry, I was talking with PD and I wasn't watching my phone. Well, I'm glad, you know, the gatekeepers, they caught the guy, caught him red-handed, watching him actually breaking the window. He was in there for about maybe 30 seconds or so, and uh, they got him out, went on a foot chase. Well, they chased him in the cars, went around, they blocked the guy and ended up got him detained him and then they called us and we got out here and I told him when I get here call PD so I wanted to get this guy before PD took him away. Yeah poor Al is going through a lot folks you know and he's also hiring too if anybody's looking for a job Al is also hiring. <laughs> Did you do a walk around, see if there's any other damage or? Uh, no, there was damage. I just, I just Okay, let's check it out, 14. All right, you guys did a good job tonight, man. That's secured. That was like, uh, yeah. See, the first time they went through this, busted this. Uh, oh, yeah, might want to show Al that. Yeah, it looks like he tried to pry that out first. And then the night before that, well, last night, you know, when we woke up this morning, he actually went through this window here. They actually busted this whole window and uh, went through there. So they put some rods in there and then put a new window, new glass in it. Changed all the locks and now this happens. Well, see, that's the thing about it. Yes, it is so close to the police station, but the thing you got to remember, you know, when the police are inside the station, they can't see what's going on over here, you know, and normally these officers are not at the police station. They're normally out in the community, you know, so they could be far away. So don't matter if they're close to the PD station or not, you know, regarding to that manner.